Global Banking and Finance Review Awards reflect the innovation, achievement, strategy, progressive and inspirational changes taking place within the global financial community. The awards were created to recognize companies of all sizes, prominent in particular areas of expertise and excellence within the global financial community. Today, we're pleased to present an award to People's Bank Sri Lanka for Best Investment Bank Sri Lanka 2022. The bank's rural beginnings have led to an unprecedented level of financial inclusivity. 65% of Sri Lanka's 21 million people now have an account at People's Bank. At 741 locations, our branches are the largest network in the country. In 2021, group profit before tax topped 37 billion rupees. Sri Lanka's early adoption of risk-based capital regulation is the foundation of the financial sector's success in the country. Over five years, we have invested over 3 billion rupees on digital banking tech with upgrades to the core banking system, new smartphone apps, internet banking and self-banking units, allowing customers to transact without entering a branch. Our challenge in the next decade will be to extend financial inclusivity further to the digital realm. Social responsibility is multidimensional for us. Lending for large national infrastructure projects is the first. The second is our support for customers in disadvantaged areas. And third is our CSR activities, which have built, equipped and renovated health, education and housing facilities for people all over the country. We've also accelerated the reduction of our carbon footprint across our buildings and offices. Our proposed head office will be one of the greenest buildings in the country. We are the pride of the nation. Recently, we were pleased to welcome Ranjit Koditu Kowaku, CEO of People's Bank, to our London studio to receive the award. And later, I took the opportunity to talk more about People's Bank achievements and plans for the future. Welcome to London. So good to talk to you. Thank you for coming here today. And indeed, congratulations on the awards you received from Global Banking and Finance. Thank you, Phil. It's a pleasure to be here and winning the award from global, global Finance. Let's talk more about your organisation, the People's Bank in Sri Lanka, well established of course, and uh, many innovations over the years, including the Investment Banking Unit, which was established a few years back. Tell us a bit more about the organisation and how it came to be, and indeed about the banking unit itself. Yeah. Yes, Phil. Uh, we People's Bank celebrated its 60th anniversary in July 2021. For the last 60 years, We've been servicing the entire nation by supporting the economic growth uh, and uh, well-being of the society. Uh, we are well known for uh, the superiority in banking, in providing banking services. And uh, our investment bank unit was established in 2011 with a view to support and uh, in, uh, induce uh, the economic growth in Sri Lanka. What kind of services do you actually provide from the investment banking unit? People's Bank Investment Bank Units provide services uh, in financing and advisory services, uh, debt restructuring, uh, trustee and custodian services, syndication loans, uh, restructuring, uh, etc. There are so, uh, many facilities provided by People's Bank uh, Investment Bank Unit. Quite a long list in actual fact. Is there anything that you are particularly proud of or, or pleased with uh, in, in the way of transactions? In fact, uh, year 2021 was a very successful year for us. We have concluded three successful uh, transactions uh, during the year. The first one was a non-banking listed debenture issue for LOLC Holdings PL3, which was for the, for, uh, to the tune of rupees 10 billion. Then we also did the largest ever state own entity listed debenture issue for Silicon University Board, which was for 20 billion rupees. And then uh, we also did a debenture issue for People's Leasing and Merchant Finance Limited uh, to the tune of 10 billion. That is also the largest ever listed uh, non-banking uh, debenture issue in Sri Lanka. 
obviously it's been a very challenging time uh, in the last couple of years, the, the worldwide pandemic, etc., and other problems. Uh, how has the People's Bank responded to those challenges and what kind of adjustments did you have to make? Oh, well, the pandemic um, dealt a huge blow to the foreign exchange revenue entities in Sri Lanka, resulting in uh, foreign exchange revenue, declining in foreign exchange revenue. Uh, this has uh, led to drastic decline in foreign exchange revenue to Sri Lanka, uh, resulting in uh, stability of uh, the ex exchange rate and hurting the investor confidence and also the lender's confidence. Taking into all these facts, we've, uh, we've put into a situation where we were under tremendous pressure uh, to manage affairs. However, we were able to come out of this uh, stress situation, taking, taking right decisions and having a strategic approach uh, to overcome these uh, situations. Do you feel now that things are beginning to stabilise once again? In fact, we have uh, adopted uh, several new measures and strategies which are very agile in addressing these issues. So hopefully we'll be able to overcome these problems in a short time. Now, you mentioned at the beginning of this discussion about some of the technical innovations that you've introduced, uh, this digital operation, digitizing uh, services and so on. Tell us a bit more about what you've been able to uh, bring into a service uh, across the country with that. Uh, the People's Bank has digital supremacy in Sri Lanka. Uh, we've been focusing more on digitalization bank over the last few years, uh, which has led to a tremendous growth in our customer base and transactions. We introduced a totally paperless digital solution, which we call People Viz, uh, our solution for onboarding customers. Uh, during the pandemic, uh, or, uh, over the last two years period, we were able to onboard about 1.7 million customers through this uh, platform uh, uh, to People's Bank. That was one of the great achievements. Also, our People's Bank's um, mobile payment application has the largest subscribers and it surpassed 1 billion active users last year. Uh, that is the largest in the country. We also introduced a novel payment app, which is called People's Pay, uh, which, which inbuilds payments and lifestyles as well. Our, our solution for corporate customers is People's Win, which, uh, for which we could onboard over 7,000 customers during last year. Overall, we are focusing heavily on investing and enhancing our digital uh, channels. We also brought in uh, other standards like uh, ISO, IEC 27001, 2013 accreditations, which is the first ever bank and which is the only bank in Sri Lanka to achieve that accreditations. If you talk about the volumes of digital, last year alone, we have done over 100 million transactions through our digital channels and our volumes are well about rupees 1.5 trillion. That's very successful uh, and uh, I, I'm impressed with the numbers. Just as a supplementary question to you, uh, how did the people of Sri Lanka respond to that? Are they fairly technic technically knowledgeable or a little bit resistant? In fact, uh, what we observed earlier was people were reluctant to adapt to digital applications before the pandemic. So one thing that uh, came as a blessing due to a pandemic is that the people started adopting digital applications because they were restrictions in movement and it was easy for them to do their transactions at home while uh, by using digital applications. So the pickup was very fast. I think it, it almost tripled during this post-pandemic era. Well that's obviously a very positive result out of a very negative situation to start yeah. with. Uh, looking to uh, the future, bearing in mind that things are beginning to stabilise a bit now, how do you see your business strategy uh, going forward in the years to come? We are focusing on uh, strengthening our capacities, abilities and delivery channels by way of uh, digital means. Uh, we, are, we are strongly focusing now on our uh, human resource capacities, uh, technology and also uh, uh, the customer uh, care. So those are the strategies we are going to adapt and we've also introduced a st new strategic plan where we are trying to be agile and adapting to the current situation and see that uh, we do a better service uh, with, a, with an aim to grow our business. We also uh, are thinking of expanding our investment banking unit uh, by introducing uh, an array of new portfolios. 
So that way I think we'll be able to uh, sustain and grow and exceed our targets that has been set for this year 2022 and beyond. Well, I wish you every success with that. In the meantime, once again, congratulations on your award from Global Banking and thank you for coming to talk to us today. Thank you very much, Fred.